Hi everybody, Bill here with TurboDial with a quick video on how to set up your Note custom fields. You'll want to do this because it's a way of taking advantage of some of the automation TurboDial has for creating notes when you make phone calls. It's a way to easily document your phone call results and it's the avenue to create better reports on your dashboard. So let's start out by looking at uh, the turbo dial panel. You can see right now <clears throat> on this panel the call outcome drop down is not available for you. And that's because the custom note fields have not been set up to enable that. So we're going to walk through how to do that. Now, if you're familiar with setting up custom fields in your Infusionsoft account, you should still watch carefully because there's a couple things here that are different. First of all, so here we are in the Infusionsoft account. I'm going to go to the admin settings menu and the first thing that's different here is notice that rather than just going right into setting up a contact custom field I'm going to change to task appointment note that's the context to where we're going to be setting up the custom fields now the second thing is notice that when you come here there is no if you've never been here before there is no existing tab or header set up so the first thing we're going to do is set up a tab and I'm going to call that just you can call it anything you want. I'm going to call it Call Notes. And now we're going to add a header under it. And we'll call it Call Data. Then we're going to put that under the Call Notes tab. So now we have a, a tab called Call Notes and a header called Call Data. Now we can add some fields. Now these fields are uh, prescribed for you. You just cannot add any names you want. And if you go to the TurboDial website in the guide, user guides and videos area, you'll find a uh, section that tells you what these fields are. So the first field that we're going to add is called the duration. It's a field type whole number. So I'm going to do a copy. It's important to do copy and paste here <clears throat> because typos will uh, cause this to fail. Uh, and it's going to be of type whole number. So that's the first field I'm adding. I'm going to put that underneath the call notes tab and the call data header and save it. Okay, that field is done. The second field is a type is a field type of website and it's called call recording. This is the field where the URL for the recording that you created is going to be stored. I'm going to paste call recording there. I'm going to set this to be a website. Put it under call notes, under call data, and save it. The third field I'm going to add is called leave message recording. This is the field where you will be uh, seeing your uh, URLs for the message that you left for somebody uh, when you leave a message on their answer machine through TurboDial. It's also of type website. Add a new field, paste in that name, make it a type website, put it under call notes, call data, and save it. Now the last field, a little different. This is called the call outcome field, and it's of type dropdown. This is the field that's going to enable the call outcome selector on TurboDial if you are a TurboDial entrepreneur or TurboDial sales pro user. So we're going to add that field, paste in the name, call outcome. It has to be named exactly that. And we're making it a type, not, we're not going to make it a drill down. It's very important. It's a drop down. Okay. And now we're going to put some values in here. Now I happen to have a set of values that I've suggested. You can this is where, though, you want to create your own set of values that are specific to your business. These should be values that represent your process, your phone, call, your phone calling campaigns, and what the outcomes are, and what you want to record in the notes when you make calls. So in my case, I've added these. I'm going to put this under Call Notes, under the Call Data header, and save it. So I now have those four fields, the duration, where the duration in seconds of the phone call is added, the call recording, leave message recording, those are both URLs to recordings, 
One is the recording of the call, the other is the message being recorded, leaving. The other is the message being left behind on their answer machine. And lastly, the call outcome. Now, if we go back here to the TurboDial widget, and then I reload the screen, you'll see that call outcome is now enabled. And those values that I put into that dropdown are here. This is exactly what I installed on the custom screen, on the custom field screen. Now let's go look at a call note that was left by TurboDial. Here's an example of a note. Notice that it uh, automatically installed the subject, and this is what you can use to search for when you create saved reports. This was a TurboDial call from the PC where a message was left and the call was recorded. And so if I go to the call data, I can see that the duration was 24 seconds. Here's a URL that I can click to listen to the recording of the call, but in this case, since I didn't reach them, that's not all that interesting because what we did instead is we left a message on the machine, and here's the URL that I could use to listen to the message that was left by TurboDial on their machine. And the outcome of that call was that I did not reach them. Okay, that's it, everybody. Happy calling.